style. It's a, there we go. One more thing. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Hang tight. Thanks for coming to Key West. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Love your outfit. Big smile straight at me. Amazing. Perfect. Ahead of me. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Coming in closer. Now we're going a little tighter. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. All at B. Jam. One, two, three. When I first read the book, I was like, oh my god, this is it. This is this is the experience. This is what we all go through. I was so excited when I got the opportunity to bring Margaret to life because it's just something that we can all feel connected to, no matter like who you are in this world, but it's just something, it's the experience that all brings us together. She's growing up, she's experiencing a lot of changes, and she moves, and it's really jarring for her, and she's figuring out how to be with these new friends, and with her family and religion, and she's figuring all that out while she's growing up, and it's just a really important journey about finding yourself and just being who you are. It was so incredible. They were all so welcoming and kind and such inspirations of wonderful people to look up to and just be like them. Honestly, they've all had such amazing careers that they're just such an inspiration to work with. I think that they take away that it's just important to be yourself and that no one else should tell you what to be or how to act or anything, but it's just important that you stay true to who you are and that's all that we can really do in this life. Oh my gosh, it feels like the perfect place to kick off this movie that's been in the making for 50 years or everyone was hoping it would um, be made one day and that Judy would give her blessing. So it seems really perfect that it's here where she lives and we're going to go screen it at her theater and we're going to be in her bookstore tomorrow, which I've heard so much about and just was, didn't think I'd actually get the chance to come here. So to come with the movie is great. Very so um, Abby was already signed on, and Kathy Bates, and I was a huge fan of Kelly's, um, and Jim Brooks was involved, and I knew Judy had given her blessing, so it was pretty stacked by the time it got around to me, so it was an easy yes. Yeah, so um, I play Margaret's mother, um, kind of a free spirit. Um, artist type um, and uh, recently moved Margaret from her beloved New York to New Jersey and we're trying to make a new life there and I've quit um, my job to be a full-time mom and learn to cook and all this sort of stuff and so we're kind of both in an identity crisis I guess having parallel lives I love that about this movie too you know that um, Kathy Bates character who plays uh, Margaret's grandmother is also going through her own identity yeah. crisis and figuring out who she is now without her family nearby and so it's it's a I think it crosses a lot of generations that way yeah I mean it was a joy to come to work there Abby and Kathy are just such free spirits and so open and so intelligent and um, passionate about what they do so um, and they were great together. They became really good friends and had such great chemistry. So it was fun to just sit back and watch them play too. Um, but yeah, I mean, and Kathy Bates is just one of the greatest of all time. And um, I, you know, she's just, there's no one like her. She's a legend. So it was great to get to work with her. You know, Kelly and I got a lot of time to talk about the character in advance. And I think us both being working moms, we, um, you know, were able to uh, bring a lot to the character from the start and um, and it's always just great to have the writer not only on set but but the director as well you know to really just complete her full vision mm -hmm. and if there's you know anything's not working it's easy you know she's right there to fix it yeah. so um, it was really convenient that way mm -hmm. uh, yeah so and then Jim is just I mean he's 
he's such a champion of this project and of Kelly and they work so well together and Jim has the most generous laugh. I mean, you always knew something was truly funny because he didn't hold back even though we could hear him, all hear him and I'm sure the camera was picking it up too. But just like had wild abandon and passion for, for the project and that sort of seeped into every corner of it, of, of putting it together, so. Um, I, I hope everyone just has a really good time at the movies, you know, I feel like that's something that uh, we don't get enough of anymore. Um, I feel like coming out of the pandemic and um, all the isolation and especially for young people, yeah. I think this um, could help them feel not alone yeah. so much and, and all those rites of passage they had to go through alone over the past couple years. You know, we get to kind of come together in the theater together and laugh about the intensity of growing up and um, how funny it can be at the same time. So I think it's a really well-rounded movie. I just hope everybody has a good time and maybe sheds a tear or two. I mean, <laughs> I, I did, but I did. Um, I just want to see if, uh, you know, what resonated with me you know, in the book pops on the big screen. And I recently just, you know, reread it, you know, just to just mm -hmm. to have it fresh in my mind. And, you know, my, my oldest daughter, she's 14, she's read it a couple mm -hmm. of times. So I'm just hoping that, you know, that magic that, you know, popped on the pages of that book pops pops on the big screen as well. Oh, well, when I was uh, young, my mom, she's an English teacher. And so, you know, um, I grew up on the Book It program. Mm -hmm. And my mom gave me a great piece of advice. She would always tell me to read things that don't pertain to me. So when I would go in the library, you know, I would see these stories about, you know, these young white men, whether it was Fudge or these young white women, whether it was, you know, Margaret, that's what I started picking up and reading because that seemed like it was the total opposite of the life that I was living. And, you know, with the Book It program, you got to read four books to get a free pizza. So, you know, luckily, Ms. Bloom had a big catalog. So I just mm -hmm. ran through all her books. Her and Beverly clearly, I used to just run through those when I was younger because I used to like pizza. Yeah. And I just gravitated towards the storytelling. You know, that's what it is with, uh, 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 Judy Bloom, or whether it's a Jay Z or Ghostface, whoever it is, mm -hmm. Biggie Smalls, any of these great storytellers is what we gravitate towards. It doesn't matter, you know, what their gender is or what their race is. If they're telling a great story, you know, they'll capture the people, and that's what Judy Bloom's work did for me when I was young. When you first read it, you like you feel like you're you're peeking into a, a young woman's diary, yeah. like you know, you're reading all of these things that you probably shouldn't be reading, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> a, 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 as, a, as a young man. But um, when I read it when I got older, I just resonated with it even more because it's not just a coming of age tale for a young woman, it's just a coming of age tale for a young person, period. You know, yeah, the insecurities, the anxiety, the, mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the wanting to the fit in, the wanting to be, yeah. to be, to be down. Oh, really so anybody can relate to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope that this movie just introduces Judy Bloom's work to a whole new generation of people because like I said, it's just about the storytelling and like you can read books like Are You There God, It's Me and Margaret, or you can read books like Iggy's House mm -hmm. and you know, realize like, man, these stories still hold up to this day. Like mm -hmm. these things that she's talking about in these books are even still happening, you know, right now in 2023. So I just hope it introduces her catalog to a whole new generation. I am pretty excited and a little nervous, but really excited. It's a small town, you know, we all know each other here. Mm -hmm. The idea that this day has come, yeah. that it's finally here, wow. and that I'm here to see it, um, makes me very happy, very proud, very nostalgic. This cast is so, so, so perfect. I mean, it's wonderful. I'm going to be talking about that, too. So, um, you know, it's a thrill. It's a thrill, and that, you know, I was there every step of the way. Um, Kelly would send me auditions, and. She just knew what she wanted, and she was brilliant at spotting it. Like, I didn't know, but she knew. She knew what she wanted. She knew Abby, the minute she met her, that this was going to be Margaret. She knew Rachel, and um, it's just fabulous. And Kathy will. Who wouldn't want Kathy to play your grandma? Of course, yes. I hope the audience tonight will just be happy and have a good time and it's been a long time you know the movie theater was closed during covid like all small movie theaters it was hard times and we've survived and i just feel that tonight is bringing back all the wonderful times that we have had in this theater yeah the theater um 
um, my husband started it, and it's a nonprofit, and it's got three beautiful screens, and all of them are going to be filled up tonight with people waiting, you know, to come and see this movie. And it's like, you know, it's time. It's time for us to dress up and have a party and have a wonderful time again in Key West and at the Tropic. And we hope people will start to come back to the Tropic and enjoy, you know, it's like, oh, I forgot what a great place it is. I forgot all the fun that we've had here over the years. And that's so important, I think, for movie theaters all over the country. Oh, it, it's like the perfect ending to the, this whole process. I mean, we definitely, it started here. It's gonna have this, you know, final culmination here. It's really exciting. I'm so happy for her too. It, it has the perfect hometown feel. Like yeah. Mark, it's coming home. Yeah. Well, I, you know, it was Kelly and Jim flew out here and just convinced her. It, I don't think it took that much. I think that everyone wanted to do this and Kelly's the perfect writer director for this. I think did an incredible job, and you know, it just it just was very strangely easy. Actually, after 50 years, it was <laughs> like right, I flowed. Well, because we thought there's no way this hasn't been done before, so it must be padlocked. That right. You you can't make it. No one will make it, and then it was just easy. Yeah, it was kismet. Um, it was kismet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many girls did we audition for Margaret? We, hundreds at least. I mean, we really, and then Abby literally walked in and it was like, okay, th there's our Margaret. I mean, and that was the biggest, scariest part of it because if we didn't have the right Margaret, you don't have a movie, period. And then Rachel was just, it was natural. I mean, it was, she was exactly what we were looking for. And we did that very quickly, actually. Very quickly. She was yeah. a game and a fan. And, and loved the book. Yeah. Well, I think Kathy was our first, like, hope that she would do it. Yeah. And then that she also, the that was the definite <laughs> That was get. the get. Were, and we were so excited when we got her. And then, yeah, with Benny, we were just kind of thinking of who would be a great dad. And then we, I think we saw a movie, something, and we're like, oh, there he is, you know? And then he was so cool and just mm -hmm. great to come and do it. I think you said it exactly right. It's so familiar that it's seminal. In, yeah. in my life, no one was talking about it. No one, sex ed wasn't talking about it. No one was talking about it. And suddenly you had a friend in pages that was telling you all the secrets. All the secrets. I right. And I, I'll never forget that. And I'll never forget the production that we did where everyone came to it as a fan. And I don't know how often that happens. It was just a group of fans making yeah. this film. Yeah. And that was everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, we would screen the movie, and you go in the bathroom afterwards, and women are crying, oh and women are talking about their first mm -hmm. experiences. And, you know, it was such a great thing to start that conversation. And I just love that this movie can do that. I, I mean, I just want, especially women, but men too, just to, like, having your period, having puberty, going through this, it's just normal. It's your body, it's a great thing, it's how you grow and how you, and even her religious experience through this, how you find yourself and, and that's an amazing journey. I think it's still an embarrassing thing to buy Tampax and yeah. pads for the first time. <laughs> I think it's still like, and I, I hope that the takeaway is you can proudly check out with your Tampax and pads. Oh, even if a guy is checking you out. Even if it's a guy. <laughs> exactly. Do you think any of us will look like that when we're 19?